Meticulously hand-carved and brilliantly painted Baruchan mask on display now at Selby Gardens date back to the Spanish conquest. Jeannie Perales, the director of education at Selby, shares the history behind these detailed works of art. When the Spaniards arrived in Costa Rica, a tribe of natives began carving these devil masks in an attempt to scare them off. And with this began the tradition of carving and painting these elaborately detailed works of art. The first masks were carved from cedar. The tradition transformed into a three-day festival known as Game of the Little Devils. Although the masks failed to keep the Spanish out of Costa Rica, the Baruchans believed they were successful in keeping the Spanish from conquering their spirit. Forty years ago, the tradition of mask carving had nearly died out as they started using paper masks in place of the carved ones in their festival. A concerned village elder, Don Ishmael, gathered a group of young Baruchans to teach them this nearly lost art form and to help them turn it into a useful trade, one they could use to feed their families and to continue their traditions. Today, more than half of the villagers' incomes derives from the sale of masks and textiles like these. The economic conditions of the families have improved. They're able to provide better quality housing, food, education, and much more. Don Ishmael, who passed away just this past year, is considered a national treasure in Costa Rica and has received recognition for his efforts in preserving Baruchan cultural traditions. Selby's celebrating 11 years of hosting the Rainforest Masks of Costa Rica exhibit. Collectors line up hours before the opening and then fill the rooms of the mansion, snapping up masks by their favorite artists. This exhibit has morphed into a cross-cultural exchange. Each year, three of the master carvers take up residence in the gardens to share their traditions with gardens guests. Last year, Selby's botany team visited the village for discussions with the tribal council to conduct a botanical inventory of the tribe's environmentally sensitive rainforest lands. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the special relationship between Selby Gardens and the talented artists of the Baruchan village of Costa Rica. Join us next week for a behind the scenes look at the making of the masks. Opening on March 27th is Pura Vida, an orchid show in the Tropical Conservatory, highlighting our Costa Rican specimens as well as Baruchan botanical embellishments. For more information, visit selby.org. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the gardens.